This year's edition will screen 134 feature-length films as well as 29 shorts. The international and national competition categories will see acclaimed films battle it out for the major awards. And alongside the workshops that focus on film and TV production, William Fredkin gets a packed retrospective that includes his classics, The Exorcist and Sorcerer. I'm now joined by the Istanbul Film Festival director, Kerem Ayan. Kerem, for us, spring means a lot of films. We have seen many great films in the past years during the event. Do you ever feel the pressure each year to be better than the last? And what are the highlights of this edition? <laughs> uh, we are screening the film that are already in the festival circuit. So uh, we hope every year that next year will be, there will be better films, let's say. Uh, but we are happy from our programming, of course, uh, from this year. Uh, and in the festival this year, we have, oh, like every year, let's say, like the best films of the big festivals, mainly Berlin Film Festival, Berlinale. Uh, we are showing all the awarded films of the Berlinale uh, and also some films from Venice and some films from Cannes, of course. Uh, we have uh, our uh, premieres, we have the big competitions, the national competition and the international competition. We have the first film competition that we started last year's first international first film competition, let's say. And we do also um, a retrospective of uh, William Friedkin. We are showing nine films, nine cult films, let's say. And especially from Berlinale, we have a list of awarded international films, as you mentioned. So would you like to tell us about compelling movies that will be screened at the festival? I'm simply wondering about your favorites. <laughs> okay, so my, um, so we are showing uh, Christian Petzold's last movie, A Fire, from the Berlinale. Uh, it won one of the big awards there. This, this is, for, for me, it was the best film in competition, by the way. Uh, so we are showing that one. We are showing the film that won uh, Golden Bear Award uh, on the Adamant, a French uh, documentary, also from the Berlinale. And uh, I can talk about the films in our competition because uh, these are our favorite movies, let's say, so you put them in competition. Um, I can say um, Animalia. Animalia is from Sundance and uh, it's a science fiction film, a fantastic film from uh, Mo Morocco. Uh, and then uh, there's this French uh, documentary called Atlantic Bar, which was in a side section in Cannes that we discovered. Um, and then we have another, we have lots of good documentaries this year. We have another one uh, called And the King Said what a, uh, one, what a Fantastic Machine. It's a Danish documentary uh, that tells the relation between the man and the camera. Of course, the social media also in, in these times, let's say. And our opening film is Crepper. Uh, it's the film who won uh, Sundance Film Festival. It's a really beautiful film about a father-daughter relationship. What about Turkish films? There are many good ones. I know it's hard to pick, but what can you tell us about them? Uh, I prefer not to recommend Turkish movies because they are all in competition. So, uh, but we have... 11 Turkish movies in competition, uh, in the fiction competition, and five of them are the world premiere. It will be shown for the first time here in Istanbul. So uh, I hope people will enjoy them. You mentioned the lack of female filmmakers in the previous year's editions. How is this year actually? And in the No More Flowers section, what kind of stories are women telling? Um, we have, of course, not enough film, female filmmakers again, especially I'm talking about the Turkish film competition. I think it's... Uh, f mm, we, we are showing 11 films. I think we have two or three film, female filmmakers. I'm not sure exactly, but it's not enough, of course. Uh, I hope it will improve, but in, in general, let's say, in the festival program, we have much, much more female filmmakers, which is wonderful. In the No More Flowers section, we have uh, films with the female protagonists, strong female protagonists, let's say. And this year we have lots of different subjects. 
Uh, we have a film about racism. It's a story of a little girl, a Nene Superstar. It's a story of a black little girl who tries to go to, to the ballet school in, in Paris. Or uh, Alice Darling, who talks about a uh, toxic relationship. And, uh, and we have also Blanquita, who talk about uh, sexual abuse. So we have lots of different subjects on these matters. Alongside new films, there are classics such as William Friedkin's movies, as you mentioned earlier. Can you tell us a bit more about this and whether he is joining the event or not? Yeah, uh, so uh, we are showing nine films. He has, of course, uh, the most famous one is Exorcist, of course. It's the 50th anniversary of Exorcist. We are showing that one, but he has lots of cult movies like um, French Connection or Cruising. And we will show also Sorcerer, which is not uh, easy to see, let's say. Uh, we invited him, but he's not able to come. Uh, not because of his old age, but he's editing his last movie. So he's working, so he can't come. Well, he won't make it, but there's someone else who I'm a big fan of coming to our town. I'm talking about Eniano. Can you tell us why she is yes. this year's guest of honor? Yeah, this year, instead of a movie star, we have a literature star, let's say. Uh, she won the Nobel Award uh, last year, Aniano. Uh, she, did a, she did a documentary with uh, her son. So we are showing this documentary, Super 8 Years. She's talking about her childhood, her youth, as usual. Uh, she will come to present the film and, of course, she will do, she will sign also her books. Uh, we will do, I think, a press press conference also. So uh, we are very, very happy uh, to host her in Istanbul. Okay, Karam, thanks so much once again for joining us here on Showcase today.